Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we play Bruva Alpha Boost, is chapter 4 of Hunter the Parenting, The Feuds of Our Fathers. Now, last time around, crazy stuff happened involving revealing that there actually is a conspiracy to replace a dollar store with a slightly more expensive dollar store, or was already replaced by an even older, more expensive dollar store in the depths below it. And honestly, I have no idea what's going on. People tried to explain it, and I pulled a me, and just, it went right over my head. Unfortunately and will be reflected in this video, I am coming off a massive freaking flu. So as much as I would like to do this entire video in one go, I think that would kill me. I'm not sure if that's a joke or literal. We will find out. I will try though because I like this stuff, man. I can't stop. And I'll say I don't want to either. There's that part. So let's get started. Oh, okay, we're gonna be doing Kitten's Friends. I think I recognize them. And she still has the Yaoi paddle. Yeah, because she's the anime person. Arc 2, part 104, breaking into the halls of mystical that order because- Oh, come on, let me finish that. Because my grandpa told me to. Wait. Is boy going to be breaking into mystical orders? Because he's the only person who would have a grandpa, which would be Big D. <laughs> I don't know where this is going, but I already like it. Is he going to fight some kind of rat there monster? Is an imposter in this chapter house! Don't, 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 don't. You even highlighted in red. Bruva, please don't tell me you're starting this on a freaking Among Us joke. I mean, I'll enjoy it because I have stupid humor like that, but really, I, I feel like I should be deducting points for that. Lie. What? Contemptible deceiver. Okay, this escalated. So we got an old guy, someone in the background, kitchen fighting a... Security guard. Magnus getting beaten by a security guard who likes short shorts and is very hairy. And Dor is just absolutely wailing on a... Oh, and Boy and Dor are wailing on the other one. Also, I recognize that stance. It's the old classic fisticuffs method, which apparently wasn't entirely stupid because you have a different stance based on when you're doing bare knuckles as opposed to padded knuckles in boxing. Yeah, apparently this is more defensible because you're less worried about getting a punch in and more about keeping far enough away that they don't actually score a hit because headshots hurt. Yeah, it's funny how we kind of forgot that part. I did not come as your foe, Black Law. <laughs> you're always Black my foe. Since the time our ancestors squirreled from our first breath. Wait, since they're ancestors? Since the time our ancestors Oh. I know this is kind of a dumb joke, but either he's saying something that's going to be immediately contradicted by Big D, which, I mean, I can admittedly say it's just him playing it up, or this guy's really damn old because Big D has already that really huge, this is not human time span of life. Yeah. Quarreled from our first breath. We are enemies. Now fall. Oh my God, the faces. Belgian slur. What would that be like? Putting butter on the waffle? And war cry of a millennia old ancestral feud. What? Is he just gonna. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they were in the bar together. Whoa. They're actually doing a pretty good fight. And they're just beating him up. What do I do? <laughs> oh my god, they actually one? The animations. I thought everything prior to this was insane levels of animation, but holy shit. We have reached the point where I'm looking at this thinking if Emperor Text Speech stuff was first season South Park level of okay, it's actually so paper cutouts, this is some of the newer stuff where it's like, holy shit, it's a flat out anime, and they just happen to keep it to the original style. Like, look at this. We got, we got so much motion, the full legs, everything's going on, multiple aspects, the shadows are moving with it. No, 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 the shadows aren't. So the shadows are static, but you don't actually see that because you're focusing on them. But the arms are completely in there. <laughs> oh my god, this looks even crazier. And they're just going back and forth with all of the punches. Hold on. DBZ. Yeah. Suppose all's in order. But what? why'd so much of the budget go on wig and kebab? She ordered six. 
cakes. Like Odin Obanaga, it was a great unifier of bomb cakes. So you liked it? Liked it? I threw up. Welcome. Trouble downstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just... I just... <laughs> it's so stupid. I absolutely love this. 1910, 1930, 1950, 1970, 1990. Murdered? What is going on in the... Th Wait. Big D and Horace talked about doing something in the 30s. Around that time. And then there's a lot more body count and there's a something's listening up there because there's no other reason to adjust that and then everything just dropped off skipped a decade no skip two decades oh it's going every 20 years okay huh that's an interesting specific detail also i just love so this you liked it? I liked it. I threw up. oh so initially i was going to comment on this face where she says i threw up and then just with the full all to the side derp just like wasting all the money and she hated it, but she did it anyway because, I, yeah, weeb. Excessively weeby. Ugh. Welcome. Trouble downstairs. Yeah. Also, is it like this guy going more than kind of. Oh my. What? So we got them all in the. Egg like really exaggerated poses and there's a flash of light and we just see what it actually is and it's just two old men punching each other all the animations are downgraded and it's just two guys wheezing with and it's just a pistol with a stake taped to it so we were seeing their version of it including the bigger chair and the chair is actually still pretty cool here but <laughs> oh, I absolutely love this you see almost a glaive, a gun glaive even. No idea what that would be a reference to. <laughs> the only one who kind of stays the same is really just Door. Door and Boy are basically the only ones who don't change here. Where these two are all dignified, and you see him in the serious pose, and then you see him in the dirt pose instead. I just, I love everything about this. It's that little change where all of them are like stripping away what they actually look like, and they're just much more dorky here. These two are both winded and out of it. <laughs> And these were just two old men being idiots. And then Dor is exactly what you thought he was. Stairs. I just love this. It's just a little change. Pathetic flailing. Bloody <laughs> really looks like Mordekai. Kind of. What? Oh, is he a flat out wizard? What is going on? <laughs> oh god, it's shot! Give it six paddle away! It's <laughs> a paddle, OK boy! Stop! OK boy? You know, I've been a weeb for a while and I don't get that reference. I feel like I'm losing points in something I shouldn't have points in to start with. Huh. Why does that say competitive asphyxiation? I was going to make a joke with that not being a thing, but then I realized there's the internet. It's probably a thing. Strangling each other. Nope. <sighs> oh <my>. And they're just <laughs> jumping <Stop> in. Killing spit. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Boy got the last hit in. And then he's so smug. Oh my god. You know, it's the Morgan kind of beard, but with the amulet and the overcoat, it's very much Doctor Strange esque. No idea what the stripes is a reference to, but it's like Morgan kind of wearing Doctor Strange's clothing. I kind of like it. I mean, Jesus! Yeah. This Barachi no. broke through the window, and my hedge. Execute them immediately! Nothing is broken, Whoa. Belgian. Whoa. So we've had the thicker art style with the lines over here that I'm used to. And over here, it's the same. Like, his are a little more defined, but we've been used to that. And then we have Dor, and holy shit, they resharpened his model. Also, boy's adorable.
Again, I unattached the window frame. In truth, our only crime was assault. <laughs> that doesn't make it better. Born in Nokia Engage, like. <coughs> what? Oh yeah, Nokia Engage. Nothing kills them. Exile. Did you not cop onto? Listening to you, part. <laughs> he did ask. You'll actually be glad we broke in, Chancellor. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, I actually just want to go back. Did was she? You'll actually be. Is she fawning over Marcus? No, I must be misreading this. Glad we broke in, Chancellor. <laughs> okay, no, not engaging. Leave. You're already engaged. Yeah. I never signed our divorce papers. What? I can't actually read anything. It just says Norfolk right there. I'm assuming that's to kick him out. Wait, 51980. Were they actually married? I mean, I'm assuming it's the banishment, but that's significantly before this. I think 30 years at the time this is being... 36 years? I think it's happening in 2006. I don't actually know. Mm -hmm. Do you have to agree to be banished? <laughs> oh, my brain! <laughs> Leave! Well, wait, uh, Chancellor. We have important information obtained on our last hunt. You're still hunting? That's it. There is a mole in your chapter house, Occam. A mole? Occam? As in Occam's Razor, the simplest answer is usually the accurate one. Oh my god, that's... And that's why his beard and his entire expression is so pointy. He's basically a blade. Oh, b Character design meets the actual naming convention. More specifically, a vampire blood slave. A ghoul. You have proof. A blank body we captured informed father. His name was Kevin. Ah, this Kevin could be an amphetamine supplier for all we know. <laughs> I mean, if they're not in drugs, I'm surprised if they're not. Not likely. I or mean, Kevin, Kevin knows no, my but... suppliers all too well. And he tries to say the drugs might be coming from the vampires. And he's like, ah, nah, trust me, they're for me. Oh my god. <laughs> I completely believe it too. Well. Yeah. I almost expect him to jump into a musical number at this point. I've been watching too much Hasman Hotel. Whoa. It's going to be a weird thing, but one, I thought that was a afro at first. It's a rain. Hat? Umbrella? I'm not really sure. Oh, no, Marcus probably is wearing on his head. Oh, no, that's probably boy. I don't know. Really cool estate. And the bus... It really does look huge by comparison. I mean, everything is huge, but goddamn. And they drove through the hedge, I see, yeah. Whoa. Fellow arcanists, my apologies for this urgent music. Let's see. Oh. Here. Chancellor, can you confirm the presence of everyone who's been here in the past year? Exclude members on exchange. These are our active members. Chancellor. Oh, so they're actually in contact with other chapters, and they changed them out. Ooh, that's actually a cool detail. So it's not just a local branch. It's a local branch of an international or possibly national organization. My diagnosis is that this is hogwash. Have you even heard it yet? Oh, same shit. Oh, I thought they were maids. Uh, apparently not. Also, whoa, love the texture they put on the art. That's really cool. I wonder if it's a reference to something. It different day. Mind your tone, laborers. Oh, they are the maids. Yawn of that stage. Curmudgeonly after rising from my evening siesta. Arcanists. We have Oh, was that symbol she was wearing? There's symbol an of being infiltrator in the chapter house. A ghoul. A servant of the vampiric powers that be, seeking highly sensitive data in our archives. This individual poses a threat to us. And to make matters worse, they may be in this very room. Oh, so we're doing the clue thing. Also, why would you just tell them that there's someone we suspect of being a ghoul? 
would it be better just to find out by dropping information that you know is false so whenever someone acts on it, you know specifically who you told so you know where it came from? I mean, that won't tell you who's cool, just who's leaking information. But honestly, that's just as youthful. Dun dun dun. Herrick. Roll call. Show your Wait, what did she say? Um, Herrick. Oh, yeah, because not everyone's on the same page. Kind of like how certain people didn't. It's, it's probably him. It's definitely him. He looks way too smug after being beaten half to death. Yeah, it's definitely him. Roll call. Show your Arcanum license when announced. Wait, wait, wait. Herrick. What did Kitten just pull out? Roll call. He did. Oh, it's the little mini color pen. I had one of those when I was like 12. That's not making a better case for Kitten. It really isn't. But I actually know exactly what that is. That is literally this time period they had him. Oh, my God. Show your Arcanum license when announced. Har Arcanum of Northo Great Yar... Yeah, it's in Great Yarmouth. Brother Harry Jacket. Oh, my God. Scholar of Highland Legend. Clearance, student access. Including the storage and security. Harry Jacket. Neophyte. <laughs> Elise Culpepper. Sister Elise Culpepper. Why is that smile so terrifying? Yeah, that smile is absolutely terrifying. It's just because the lips go even further than the gums. Ugh. Theological research. Student access. What did that say down here? Brother, sister. Oh, yeah. But, huh. Looks like it's written over something. Fight. Giles Oakling and Simon Spires. Part-time security. <laughs> oh, yeah, Giles is the one Big D made a big friendly hoo with in the last episode because they got him at his part-time job. Does that mean he has multiple part-time jobs? Oh, that would kind of suck. Brock and Blacklaw, security. He just wrote his name on top of the clearance. Oh, my God. Staff, surgeon at Erms. Grimaline Smith. Grima La Kanchama. Skull of the Orient, and she just tic tac toki. <sighs> I'm sorry, I, I didn't expect this level of cringe. I should have. Her entire character is basically the bad anime trope, and she's actually here to study it. God damn. Also, I thought Toki was a reference to something that didn't come out at this time period. Unless it didn't, it's a lot older than I thought. Toriko, right? Or is it something else? Hmm. Neophyte. Dr. Gloria Waters, Lord Wernon Fatigue, Elders. Wait, Lycanthropic? Wernon Fatigue. Wernon Fatigue. And the guy's tired. And he's named Fatigue. Oh, my God. Lycanthropy lore. Full access. Gloria Waters. Scholar of Psychotronic Studies. I feel that's a reference to something out of DC, but I don't know why. Matilda Wilde. Amanda Bergamot. The help? Staff access. Mat Wilde. Amanda Bergamot. Is she secretly one of the werewolves? It would be way too on the nose, but they wouldn't. No, Bruv Alpha Boost and his team would definitely be that on the nose about it. And for our most senior leadership. I am Hemold Black. I am Big D. He just put out his driver's And he actually stole Kevin's driver's license. Brother Raymond Blacklaw, Elder. <laughs> just freaking Kevin. Chapter librarian? Master Hunter. Chapter librarian? Oh my, they had to. Is that actually a thing in. Normally, I think that's a reference to the spiritual successor that this is, going back to TTS and being a reference to being a librarian for a chapter, so he'd be the equivalent of, well, a librarian in 40K, specifically the lead librarian of a chapter. But on the other hand, I don't know if that also would carry over directly into World of Darkness because I just don't know enough about it. Father! Grandfather! Occam's esteemed Uncle Occam's beloved ass! Oh, they actually work together? Victim of the Black Lord Death's Unless he's just being a dick. Who served me as an IG-9 peace stall that one time. Hi! Oh, 
It's my day job. <laughs> I didn't know it was Red's dad. Hope you suffer. Yeah. No discounts for you, Red. Bitch. Chancellor. <laughs> Arkham O'Connell, Chancellor of the Arcana Chapters of Great Yarmouth. And that's everyone. And Can of this course, blue buffoon even his... right? Only in cursive, mate. What a backhanded compliment, Grimaldi. Oi! I just went to bat for you, you Green do. Kunjama. Marcus. Why? Why? Why did you have to do that? Why? I. Oh. And you look so smug too. You you shouldn't be. It's so bad. Well, listen to it again. A compliment, Grimaldi. Oi! I just went to bat for you, you Green do. Kunjama. Hi. Save the energy for a canon debate. Canon debate? Is that a reference? I feel like that's an anime I just should know, but I'm actually losing it on. No anime, please. The what? geriatric Cold War's enough. Whoa. Oh my god. Every leg thinks this is a Cold War. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> killing it, boss. Shut it, slack jaw. Assuming you can. Quiet. Probably not. Yeah. So, for those of you not in the know, vampires are real. Sorry you had to find out about it this way. Considering how much Big D went out of his way to hide information, it, it's kind of weird that he would just come out and say, by the way, vampires are real. Yeah, I hope you don't get killed for this. I mean, they're already there. They're probably already aware of it. But at the same time, it just feels weird. What we're dealing with, however, is a ghoul. The blood of the vampire acts as a potent narcotic to the living. Get a good mouthful and boom, you're a ghouled blood slave. But like any narcotic, if one goes long enough without, they might find themselves experiencing very nasty, very visible withdrawal symptoms. Which brings us to our next order of business, the lockdown. What? Oh, that's why he got everyone there. Grampy! Don't panic. We came prepared. <laughs> what? <laughs> And that's why it's breaking in because my grandpa said so, because they're breaking into the hall where they're actually currently locked in. Oh, that makes more sense. Part of construction. Destruction. Oh my god. I mean, they're not wrong. Do not penetrate this barrier. May you wish the ghoul instead of spawned with the golden goose. I just want just one second at the end of whatever Big D's saying to look at door and boy and just watch them become so disappointed that they can't destroy something i just want to see that moment please let that happen wait someone else arrived i'm sorry what was that is that a three-wheeler oh that is weird yeah that's what i'm sticking on and all of the crazy magic-y world of darkness stuff a three-wheel car oh that was that even a thing? Yeah, that's what I find really suspension of disbelief breaking. It's just weird. The we'll moment of back, depression. Father. We installed the second deck machine guns for no. Oh. Oh. Now, boy. The M60s will have their day. Let that Let's actually happen. Telling. Please, please, Bruva Alpha Boost. There's the phrasing right here where it says. Oh, he broke it well soon near the den. That's actually cute. But there's a thing in writing where it's like, Occ not Occam's Razor, the Chekhov's gun, where you put a gun on the table in the first act, and by the end of the third act, you have to fire the gun, or it's just a waste of space that should have never been in the play to start with. It carries over to writing and most storytelling in general, and if he's mentioning M60s on the roof, I want that to be a thing, because that would look so freaking cool, because it's multiple. And there's been a lot of references that did actually pan out in the first round of four episodes. So maybe we'll be here. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not just a random throwaway joke line, but I want to see that because it sounds cool. Nice. Fortified. Yes. Return to your seat, D. No. The Black Laws take charge. I cannot allow this. You have no voice here, Hockham. You cannot allow this. Hockham is a Black Law and shall not be swayed by you. Oh. Wait, he actually is a black law? So if they're actually exes, that's not just Big D being Big D. I... So he's not just doing... He's arguing with the uncle-in-law then? 
Oh my god. You pirate! I never met a homosexual I couldn't sway! Oh come! Listen to me! No, listen to me! For the love of all the nope, apparently I don't think he's joking around. Me. Screaming, at, <laughs> screaming at the Irish. Oh yeah, it's a Belgian and a person living in England swearing at an Irishman. How are they both related then? Yeah, I get his face. <laughs> he only smiles in his delusion. Children, you aren't in charge. Yeah. How dare you? Aha! You aren't in charge. Aha! How dare you? This is my <laughs> chapter house, and I think, oh yes, we're doing it my way. Could have made a market. What? D, you've. In when did he get a cigar in his mouth? Was that there already? Oh, yeah, it was already there. I just missed it. Interacted with vampires the most, despite it, you know, being forbidden. Anything important you'd care to share? Oh, that explains what that was. It was probably either deaths to vampires or vampires murdered. And they were probably tracking Big D doing things because that's why he was in the 30s, because that's when he was doing stuff with horse. Huh. When we find the ghoul, prepare to fight. If we work together, and with me at the helm, we will hogtie this ghoul within a minute of its reveal. Si seulement. <sighs> what? Lastly. I don't speak I speak French, to you whatever now. that was. Ghoul. Whoever you are. We will find you. It's only a matter of time. Unless it's him, in which case they're all fucked. I can't know if you chose to become a traitor or if it was forced upon you. But you are among those who call you friend and colleague. If you are forced to betray us, I implore you, resist. Come forward. Huh. Well, that's an interesting look. Her look right there, like looking away, then just kind of blanking out, talking about come forward. I'm wondering if there might be more than one ghoul then. Because that's a huge giveaway right here. She just looks as angry as anything. But she's also looking right at her. More than one ghoul? We'll do He's too smug still. To help you. But if this is a path you have... Gets rolls. Oh, he has the homemade... He has a homemade cigarette box with homemade cigarettes. That is just... Tons of insults. Chosen. If you're not a victim, but a traitor. And he's sweating. And considering the health bonuses they gave, I'm wondering if he's the other one. You'll answer to me. And that answer will come in flame. Ooh. Oh, wow, she actually looks serious for once. I was not expecting that. Right now, I'm actually wondering one big thing. How much of a murder mystery is Bruv Alphabus and his team going to turn this into? Are they going to go full-on murder mystery? Are they going to drop in little hints and clues as they reveal it? Or is this going to be a setup to some kind of humorous joke where they then move on to a different plot line? I don't know because I've seen them pull together some incredibly intense bits and pieces of story that have overlapping narratives that tie together to outcomes I've never expected. And yes, I'm talking to the scene of the interrogation of Kevin. That was masterful writing. And if this is pulled to that level, I'm really excited. I'm hoping it even goes beyond this episode. I don't know if it would, but that would be interesting. Very well. We solve this now. Come with me. Is it like a blood test they can do? <gasps> Yeah. The f okay, the muscly nun, and I'm gonna be honest. I almost thought that was a vampire at first. Now, for all I know, it might be. After eons, we witness the unsealing of the archives. Ooh, magic. <laughs> okay, this is cool. They really went out the on the background. Only thing worth stealing is here, including your names, your locations, your personal details. And none but you can get in. Remelt, Dr. Waters, Lord Fatigue, they also have archive access. Whoa. Sorry, the background details there. Was that 
Oh, it's like a cursed doll. I get that. Yeah. What's on the side of that? It looks like some kind of stencil thing. Ah, whatever. I'm still wondering if he might be the actual traitor because this gives him an excuse to steal things because no one else would actually think it's him at the moment. Oh, Staked vampire or steak statue? If it makes it any easier, there are no other entryways. <laughs> Random frozen caveman. Oh. Kind of looks like Big D, actually. Our chapter house has many secret corridors, but... Um... What the fuck? We got a mystery cube, a bunch of roses. What are those roses? Rosencrantz. Whatever. None I have no idea what that's here. reference to. Better be the case. Whoa! If that ghoul gets out, no fox hunters will be the hunted. Although it sounds like the hunters aren't really hunting anymore. You know, D, you're the reason we collect. Oh my God! They put the. Ah! Oh, I noticed. Yeah. They put the little gribbly bit oh, from the other series they're doing. The little eater. Probably not the same one, because this one looks way more rapid. This info. The coalition demanded data on Norfolk's hunter activity because of your so-called reckoning. The coalition. Hunter, even a reckoning, even? And just because a third time, even then. They're dropping in the title of the actual module, Hunter the Reckoning. Oh my god. You know what Kevin and his ilk call this newfangled movement? The Second right. Inquisition. And that's Ooh. exactly what those jack-booted upstarts are! You sold us out to a menagerie of government stooges, private interests, and plain pretend Templars! I trust big government over Big D any day. <laughs> well, why don't you marry him then? Oh. So if it sounds like all of the marriage stuff isn't just Big D being an ass, but actually there, that is probably the biggest burn he can imagine because uh, he's been all over being an anarchist, anti-government, and saying he prefers big government over Big D is literally the equivalent of saying, fuck you, but in the most personally offensive way possible. Nice. Who? That's Finally a prime minister more virile than me! I wait! <laughs> Mate. Not only... Is that a clown torture chamber chair thing? Nope, nope, we're not dealing with that. We're, we're not, just we're not. Only do I get to return to the chapter house. <gasps> you get to enter the archives. It's a clown rocking Never chair. thought he'd wind up here, huh? Yeah, skeleton, but just chair. Just did it be clown, no. uh, under better circumstances. God, yeah. it's a shame, that, but bang a party. Though. Why are you talking at us? Sorry, which one are you, Simon or Giles? <laughs> oh, yeah, man, I'm spit. <laughs> I just got hired, like... Mate, you're... you're Brock's minion. Like, my nemesis. I don't think he's high enough to realize you it. You think you're better than me? Yeah. You're not uh, better than me. I'm spit. Everyone knows spit. You know me. Get off me. No, you are better than me. Why are we... Huh, it's almost like the guy's going through withdrawals. Yeah, that that's crazy talk. Even alive, man. He's at a riddle. Marty, quit chatting up me, boys! I'm trying! Another round? What? What are we doing? Well, how else to find a blood slave? A blood test. Huh? Take a goblet, fill it with a few drops. But would that change anything? Because it's not like they're vampires. Or does it actually change their blood somehow? Again, I don't know if this is the thing they're doing just within the TTS. Sorry, the Hunter of the Reckoning. Hunter the Parenting version, or if that's actually something from World of Darkness. Dr. Waters, I assume you have sanitized instruments for our use? You think I just carry scalpels in my doctor's bag every day? Do you? <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Arcanum Oh, wow, that's, that's kind of cool. We are not. <laughs> He's going right in his head! <laughs> oh, oh. I'm getting to the point where I don't think I could talk much more, but I want to keep going, damn it. To engage with our research subject. He's just bleeding. We are scholars. Just bleeding in the background. Not judges. Not hunters. But I deem this ruling moot when our security is imperiled. Oh? With that, I have a method to unveil our mole. Unless it's all a red herring. for that, you need blood. Bang on! 
Such satanic nonsense. A solar sorcery is an ancient and hallowed art. Solar sorcery. By my touch, the ghoul's blood will betray itself. Oh. And as you've decided to... Because blood would burn? Does that stay true even when it's mixed with immortals? I have no idea how this would actually work. It's all the technique of my homeland. I'll take your blood first. I took a little big D from the head. He didn't even notice yet, did he? Suspicious murmurs. <laughs> that one's mine, like. Fantastic. Now, They're highlighting so him for a reason. In here, Is he the red herring or actually the traitor? What? What is that? The cold tessellation. What? We throw in the suspect in that book? Oh, she's way too happy about this. Also, that... Those teeth. I get that they're all British, but wow. Bruva Alpha Boost and his team are not holding back on this one. Correct. Its nature is sorcerous and escape is near impossible. Once our ghoul is captured, it will help us resolve this. Unless it's red hair. Out, out. I'll begin my rights. Remember to stay close. Carrying the box will be a cooperation trial. Succeed, and I am sure we can make this work. We will do, do it. it! Oh my god. They failed! Holy shit! I said follow, follow my lead! That job didn't even help! My legs were shot with a gun! My mini kneecaps were compressed by a car crush. Don't see me whining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's you. Dekimai. Please stop. What do you say? By the way, it's not a sex panel. This is not I the time. You it it kind of is. Like this. this is a sex. What were we supposed to prepare to fight this uh, ghoul fellow? I mean, at this point, the ghoul might be the sanest one there. It's probably the chapter master. Oh, I'm still processing the vampires are real. We'll, uh, we'll hide in the kitchen. I do have some uh, reading to uh, attend. Uh, maybe. Uh, Oh yeah, they're all dead. Damn. Why's a dog in a slug fight in the game? We're living past trauma. Yeah. What, skull trauma? <laughs> Let me Sleep. go. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> <coughs> I if an old man lends you an ear, Simon. I don't want your ear. I want me bloody ear to quit ping ponging. All day it's like, oh, I party. And then it's like, nightmare, freak out. I uh, can't make it decide on nothing. I'm almost wondering if he is the red herring. He just has mental issues. As opposed to, if the staff are just freaking out because they actually didn't know, and they're not just the red herrings who are running off to die. I wonder if this guy would be the vampire because of the old age. Oh, sorry, the ghoul. seems more correct. This party ain't great. Freak out voices, spawn. Doesn't want you to freak out about something big. It's me, big like. Excuse me if I don't exactly what? tell you what. Oh, because part of Hunters was literal voices in their head driving them insane, but also getting power from somewhere. So he might actually be the red herring in the sense that he's actually getting direct information, but it's literally driving him mad. Can this big thing by chance be compartmentalized? What? M made smaller, more manageable. M maybe. Then, like scrubbing a bathroom floor, you do it one tile at a time, lad. Huh. Me day job. How about we take a moment and work on it scrubbing together? Eh? Oh, and it looks like Marcus's friend just stole the keys. Hey. And his wallet. Suppose, uh, fine, innit? We can head for the bar in the other room. Much quieter there. Come, lads. Wait. Oh, I just got who this is. Cryptman. They brought Cryptman. Their depiction of Cryptman with the glasses and the cane and the Tyranid on the aspect. Oh, my. Nice. <laughs> and that would be one of the. Yeah. The various red, not red shields. But they count as black shields. The people with him from the Inquisition who were helping him. The Ordo Malleus. The Blackwatch. Like no, wait, Blackwatch is a different one. Farm. Ah. Me vent about dad. Excuse Death Watch, that's it. Me? Oh, just well sure you and Mark have been enjoying the freedom since you left the Arcanum. There was no leaving, what? I was kicked out. Okay, fine, you, you know what I mean. 
You haven't had to conduct any research under the gaze of some wheezing geezer like Remel. You are absolutely oh. fucking lootly correct, Grimaline. I haven't. I haven't conducted any research because I no longer have the Arcanum's funds to conduct. I know they're arguing about being in here, but I think this is. Is this the ex arguing with the current? I wonder if it is. Sure, it's on your own, Bob, but you ain't got no Bob? bloody oversight. It's probably you a British thing. Happy. Right in front of a skeleton knight. This is exactly why we never worked out. Oh, not Marcus's ex. Kitten's ex. And it got her. Between your obliviousness, your obsessions, the fist of the North Star music looping all night. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Look, I can't take any more of you right now. Is Marcus technically hey, less geeky? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. No, just... Oh, she's a reference to the Tau, Shadow Sun. Because the joke is that Tau are weebs. Oh, yeah, that's what she is. I was wondering what that was, and now I got it. Is it not canon? Well, now it is. <sighs> Grimo. Not the best outcome. Sorry, Mom. Yeah. I'll find her. I've uh, got some weights in storage. You want to go with, Mark? What, with my teeth? Core day for you, Addy. Let's pump that stress out. Oh, my Go meet with Grimmel when she's not being... An insincere bungler! <laughs> and that's unfortunately where I have to end this one because my voice is killing me and I've basically pushed as much as recording can get me to right now. I'm going to need a massive lodge after this. <clears throat> Sorry. Basically, I love this. I love what's going on. I like all the details. I like some of the jokes in the background because they have those. Some of the references. Freaking... Cryptman as one of the pieces of art. I love how everything is being incorporated. I just wish I wasn't feeling like my throat was trying to separate from the rest of my body at the moment. That is unpleasant. On the other hand, this is literally double the amount of time I could record yesterday, so it's getting better. Uh, I, I was really fucked up. I, I was really sick. I don't know why I didn't go to the hospital. Well, that's on me. More importantly, let me know if there's anything I missed. I'm sure there's a lot. I'm sure there's a bunch of references I didn't get. I just... You have no idea how much I just want to risk recording more and fucking up my voice permanently because it would be worth it because this is awesome! Uh, being sick sucks. More importantly, though, you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up. I'm going to come back as soon as I can to watch the rest of this and then I'll probably get the rest of the videos for the week after that. But I just... I want more of this, man. And if it takes like a couple hours, a couple days, I will definitely check it out. I'll probably put it out the week after it, but I definitely want to check this out as soon as possible, man. This is freaking cool. Oh, I miss this show. Proof Alpha Busa and his team have a massive hit on this one, and I'm glad they're making it. Also, I'm glad they got full permission from World of Darkness to do this, because that's awesome. No, it wasn't World of Darkness. It was White Wolf through their license. Yeah, and honestly, if they weren't somewhat sponsoring this, I would be not too surprised, but also, frankly, they should at this moment, because it's probably bringing more eyes than a lot of media has. Which also works out because they're releasing the new game for Vampire the Masquerade in, what, a couple decades? So the timing works out pretty well. Yeah. Either way, links below video. Hit it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.